Hello everyone. Just real quick, I want to share a, <clears throat> a concept on using range bars or volume bars rather than time charts. And I'm going to look here at the mini SMP and see if we get any signals. So again, I do not like to use, if I'm short term trading, I don't like to use minute charts or uh, five minutes or six minutes or whatever it is, simply because you have to wait for five minutes before something happens. On the other hand, if you're using volume bars, which we are right now, we're using the mini S&P 10,000 volume bar. So that means that every time uh, 10,000 contracts traded, as you can see, a new bar will complete. So that's why you see all the volume bars are the same, 10,000 volume bars. Another way to go about it is with the tick charts. And the tick charts, or excuse me, range bars using ticks will complete when the market completes a certain uh, distance and price from high to low. So in this case, I did a 12, po 12 point ticks. That's exactly three points. So you'll see that the high and low is going to be three points apart. And that uses the price. So one uses price, the other one uses volume. I can't say that I like one better than the other. Uh, but if I had to choose, I would probably uh, look at the range bar a little bit more. And what I do when I get a signal, the way I like to, to approach those markets, the way I like to approach the markets is from the assumption that most days are not a straight up or straight down days. Uh, so I look for turning points and reversals in the markets to go up, to go down, to change direction. Obviously, I'd like to know if there's a certain trend, is there a certain more bias to the market and I think right now if you look at the mini S&P and stock indexes in general even though uh, even though uh, the markets in my opinions are overbought if you look at the technical picture you'll see that it's probably better to attack these markets from the long side and I will show you why so give me a second So I'm looking at 120 bar, excuse me, 120 minute uh, chart on the mini S&P, and you can see it right here. And that's for me uh, somewhat of a longer term indication when it comes to day trading. And you'll see two things that I'm noticing. First, the whole time we've been above this red line, red line, which is a very special uh, custom made moving average that I came up with. And for me, when I'm trading above this level, that usually means I should attack the market from the long side. Also, I color coded the bars. So if it's green, attack from the long side. If it's black, you can attack it from both sides. If it's red, you want to attack it from the short side. As you can see, it's been, it's been a long time, almost, uh, wow, since May 22nd, since this chart said go attack from the short side, it was wrong. It was just for one bar. Uh, so if I go back, you'll see that, okay, there's times where we go in short, we're below the red line, and, the, and we will see the color coding. Uh, so that's as a side note. So now that I'm sharing what I shared with you, I know I want to attack from the long side, possibly, if, uh, if possible. I'm looking here, I got a little diamond, a green diamond. And that means for me that there's a possible reversal. Now the market has been quiet, and tomorrow we have FOMC announcement. So I'm not sure that much is going to happen, but based on the technique that I'm using, I'm going to look at the previous bar high, which was 32.11.75. And I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, if I get in, if I get in, <clears throat> uh, I want to go long if we break that level. So I'm going to put a buy stop right here. Uh, and let's go ahead and do it with a two lot because there's a couple of things that I want to do in case we do get filled. So I'll put a buy stop at 32.12.50. Okay, and I'm gonna let the stop work in there and I'm gonna let momentum carry me in. And while we wait, I'm gonna pause. Okay, so as we are working here, we got another signal, another diamond, and this time the previous bar high is 32.11.25. So I'm gonna, based on that, move my buy stop about half a point lower. Okay. And by the way, I'm using our free e-futures uh, trading platform, which is a really nice free trading platform, which is great 
both for day trading, swing trading, we have time release orders, <clears throat> we have option change, uh, we have a margin calculator. I mean, this platform is really, really the complete package at no monthly cost other than whatever data feed you subscribe to. So this is as a side note. Okay, as we're waiting, you can see that we got filled. We have a momentum. Uh, that, so the buy stop worked, meaning instead of me trying to predict the bottom or predict that this is going to go up, I put a buy stop to enter the long trade, which happened. And I'll take down the crude chart and we'll just stick with the mini S&P chart. And usually what I do when I uh, trade this concept, and I should have already programmed it in before, is I like to take about two points on the first one. And by doing so, I'm going to take away some uh, <clears throat> some uh, stress. It allows me to go ahead and manage the trade a little bit better. And what I'll do is I'm going to put a limit. Should have had it already because it would have got filled. I will let it work. So now we got filled. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so I'm long one. I took profit on one for about 100 bucks, I believe. Yes, two points. And now I'm going to look at the chart and I'm going to manage the chart and see uh, how I like it. What do I think can happen? Can we break a new high? Can we go all the way up here? Where, where is this market going? And part of the studies that I use is called the parabolics. Those are those little green dots, in this case red. Okay, I use them as a trailing stop as needed. In this case, there's no reason I should have a stop below the previous the recent low, which was 3206.50. So, not sure what's going to happen. But at this point, let me see if I have any stops. And I actually don't have stops, so I'm slacking here on my uh, trade management because I did not have the strategy created in advance, which is okay. I will put manual, manual stops in here, and my stop should be definitely. It should, I should not let it go below this price right here. So currently I have a stop. We are back to where I pretty much got in. I'm going to let this market play out a little bit. Within a bar or two, I'm going to start moving the stops up as I feel that if the market's going to go up on what I consider turning points, there should be some momentum to it. And when we go up on the first move, like right here, there's usually it will move pretty quick okay even here one two bars and it moves but you gotta give some some time for the market to actually uh play out it's not going to happen instantly that's always been the tough really tough uh setup for me do i put the stop at break even right now and get out do i take profit on both of them and i think a lot of a lot of traders uh struggle with that question so why I let I let the market play out a little bit and see what happens. So we have a few bars that went by. Uh, we made a high of uh, 32.15, and we're dropping from there. And the big question is, I got it at 32.11.75. Where do I put this stop? The very conservative stop will be 32.10 and a quarter because that is the recent low. Uh, a stop that will give me a little bit better chances is 3208 and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move my stop to 3208, give myself a little bit better better chances to make this trade. And at this point I need to figure out a limit order for profit. Uh, I'm going to go for 3217 and a half based on the recent high. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel my my uh, my stop. <clears throat> And I'm going to go ahead and send an OCO. So I click on the OCO. I'm going to put uh, 1750 as a one limit. I'm going to do 3208 as the stop. Uh, now I have a working order, which is an OCO, meaning the orders are related. Stop at 08, limit at 17 and a half. Whichever one gets filled, the other one will cancel. And. Uh, And that will be it for now, and we'll put another update shortly. Okay, so we're here, and uh, the market is going our way. 
a few bars have passed. We got into the trade right around uh, 11.45 Pacific time, give or take. Right now it's 12.12 Pacific time, so about half an hour. Uh, I'm getting closer to my target. <clears throat> and at this point, I want to uh, tighten up because I am getting close. I I'm going to tighten up. I'm looking at what the recent low is. I'm looking at my chart and the third bar before low was at 10.50. So I'm going to put my stop at 10 and a quarter. So I'm simply going to go into my work and stop, flick and drag it to 10 and a quarter and release it. So as you can see, I have two orders, a limit 17.50, a stop at 10.25. Uh, market needs obviously to break above uh, 16 and a half. So we got pretty close. I believe it has a chance, but who knows? Uh, we'll, let, we'll let it do some, some work here and, and see what happened with this trade. Again, this is a 10,000 volume bar chart on the mini S&P. I'm using the E-Dash Futures demo, which you can get right <clears throat> here on our website. You can click on E-Dash Futures. You can also click right here, open a demo account. We do offer multiple platforms. And my favorites are Ida Futures, Transact, CQG, uh, Firetip, just to name a few, Multichart, Sierra. And those are some of the platforms that I really like. Uh, so we're still waiting. We want to see a little bit of a spike, a little bit of a volume buy. Uh, give us this little limit. Again, just to be upfront, trading in demo is always much easier than trading a live account. There's no real money on the line. Although in this case, I'm doing a video, so it's that the ego, ego on the line. But the concept is turning points, uh, price confirmation, so you enter on a stop, and then account management as far as taking profits, uh, trailing stop, uh, if possible to use <clears throat> multiples of two when you trade if you have the risk capitals if not you may want to look at the micros because i think once you take the profit if you have profit on the first one first part of the trade it allows you to manage the second part of the trade much more relaxed and, uh, and go from there like for right now for sure i'm about a two point away from my profit target this should not be a loser so i'm going to put my stop right here uh, give myself one take profit and then see if I can get this a 17 and a half target. And just for me to take a look at something, I'm gonna look in my other chart right here. It looks like this was the pivot, is the 1375. This is my CQG, another chart that I like to use. And I believe that we should get the 17 and a half based on what I'm seeing here, so I'll just let it work. Let it work and see if we can get it. <clears throat> okay, and we got it. So we completed this trade uh, using the counter trade signal based on the diamond. Looking for price confirmation above, which we got. And then we matched the trade. Just see, so you know, this, even though it's called day trading, it still took over 30 minutes. Uh, so this was the completed orders, as you can see. Uh, we bought two at 32.11.75. We got out of one at 13.75, made two points. We got out of one at 17 and a half, so almost six points. Uh, and let's take a look. So it was 387.50 of demo money. Uh, by the way, if this market goes above the eight, in the 19, it can probably have a little bit more legs. And that's always the, <clears throat> the tough one. Uh, how much do you let the runner run? How much do you take profit, etc. So I hope you enjoyed this little uh, video and got a couple of tips out of it. If you want to sign up and get access to the same algo that I'm showing in this video, you can reply back to the daily blog email or you can simply <clears throat> log into our website, go into the Futures Trading Education Click on trading signals, which probably we need to change the name, and you'll see some explanations, like right here. You'll see some uh, 
some explanations of how the, the charts look like. You can sign up for the trading signals right there. So right here, you just sign up, get three weeks, fill out your information and you're good to go. So thank you and have a great rest of the week.